YouTube, how are we doing guys? What is up? Welcome to another YouTube video. Today guys, we're going to be jamming some Black Ops 3. And I'm in an awesome mood. I'll get into that in a second. I'll tell you what, I was jamming the Infinite Warfare last night and it's got me freaking high. But anyways guys, for today's video, we're going to be hitting three unset up smokers. We're going to be talking about some awesome, awesome topics. So definitely stick around. I'm just hyped to play some Black Ops 3. And to make things better, we're kicking things off on Aquarium, and let's be honest, Aquarium is such a dope map. I love the wall runs, I love the scenery, everything about this game, about this map is beautiful. Where should we start, guys? What should we start talking about? Honestly, I think we should start talking about some Infinite Warfare action. You guys know the two new CODs are just around the corner. Within a week's time... <gasps> No way! Yes, dude! I hit the wall run. I wanted to hit this for so, so long. So many people have linked this to me to my clips of the month. I just freaking smoked it just talking to you guys. Oh, with the reload, like wall bang through the tree with the suppressor. That is dope. That's what we're talking about, guys. I'll, I'll continue talking to you fellas in a second. Anyways, map number two. Ready, guys? Welcome to map number two. We're jamming some evacs. Oh, oh my god. Imagine if I hit this. Got the red glowing thing and then bang. That would be pretty dope. But um, yeah, guys, we're jamming some evac. I don't believe I've ever hit an unset up shot on this map before. And this map in general is just, it's really laid out perfectly for hitting un- Oh, dude. There what? There is no way. I just freaking dogged again. What the? Dude, that is nuts. I, I want to talk to you guys about Infinite Warfare, but we have to do that for the final map. Look at this combo. I just freaking dogged it again. Oh, dude, that is so clean. That is so beautiful, boys. I'll see you fellas on map number three. Alrighty, guys. Welcome back. So this time around, we're jamming some knockout. I've got a shit ton of things I do want to speak to you fellas about. So what we're going to do, if I manage to hit again while speaking to you fellas, we'll simply just move over to a fourth map. And we'll just keep going until eventually I've got everything I want to say out there so you guys understand where I'm coming from. Anyways, let's talk about some infinite warfare. So... The other night, it was the very last day of the beta, and it was the only time I've sat down and actually jammed Infinite Warfare. Like, sat there. <laughs> what the frick is this bullshit? I think I've done this once in my life, and the fact that, like, Black Ops 3 is so hard to hit on. <laughs> Dude, what? The no scopes on this game don't make sense. Alright, uh, I guess we're going to a fourth map. I'll see you fellas then. Shit, man! You seen this shit, Cooper? <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Welcome back. So this time round, guys, for the final map, we're jamming some Redwood. Well, at least I assume it's going to be the final map. But, guys, check it out. The coolest thing about this map, we can hit some setup smokers, even though I haven't technically, you know, wanted them to set up. But they kind of get glitched out by the tree trunk, so that's kind of dope. Love your bits. Thank you, Hammy321. I love you, too. I see all your comments. I see your likes. I see everything. Anyways, guys. Where the frick was I? Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, guys. May I just say, I cannot wait. Oh, let's go. Alrighty, we've hit another shot. That's what we're talking about. This shot itself was so clean. But I just want to mention, guys, Infinite Warfare looks dope. You guys know I jammed it the other day in the beta. And it was so much fun. I'll talk to you guys about that in the second. Anyways, guys, I'll see you fellas on the fourth map. Alrighty, we're jamming some fringe guys. Now, I do want to mention, no, I did not hit first attempt on the previous map. I know it seems like I did, but I actually had to cut the commentary, and when I cut it, that's when I managed to hit. It was like 10th, maybe 15th attempt. So, uh, yeah, now that we've got that out of the way, why do I enjoy Infinite Warfare? You guys know I enjoy it, but why do I enjoy it? Well, boys and girls, there is two reasons. First of all, it's super simple for trick shotting. Now, what I mean by that, for example, Black Ops 3, it's a thrust jumping type game. It's kind of complex you know, it's hard to jump and insta-swap, do all that kind of stuff at the same time. The thing with Infinite Warfare, there is no insta-swapping, which means for all those people that struggled with Black Ops 3 in terms of, you know, doing combos whilst jumping, it's so... Nice Alright, so that one, that, there was no cut there. I just freaking smoked that. Alrighty, the shot itself wasn't very distant, but, um, shit, this is not, this, <laughs> this is one of the most lucky... Dude, there's one kid there. I was just randomly going for it out that way. So I was hoping not to hit anyone so I could talk to you guys. Anyways, we might as well jam Fringe again. Now, you guys are probably wondering, Inky, why do you put rounds on? Well, I'll put it on for that reason. In case I hit a shot, we can jam it again. So, uh, yeah. So what I was trying to say, guys, with the um, previous segment, the main reason I feel as though a lot of people gave up on Black Ops 3, I just feel as though it was... What the frick? Well, I might as well keep talking. This is just retarded. But I feel as though, like, a lot of people had trouble trickshotting on the game. Like, it was very difficult to be able to jump, to be able to insta-swap, to be able to, you know, do all those things all at the same time. Where I feel as though 
Infinite Warfare's made up for that. There's no insta-swapping, which means a lot of people will stick around, you know, they won't try out the game and go, hey, this is too hard, then go back to an old-gen console. I feel as though a lot of people will stick to Infinite Warfare, and that's super, super exciting. And another thing with Infinite Warfare, like, for example, Black Ops 3, one of the major disadvantages, another reason why people gave up on Black Ops 3 was because when you trickshot online, even if you could trickshot, it was so hard to get attempts. For example, you'd be jumping in the air, spinning. By the time you shoot, the kids either completely ran off because you're hovering in the air for so long or you simply get shot well guess what infinite warfare has made up for that as well apparently there is search and rescue which means we'll be able to get way more attempts this is going to be awesome fun like i remember back in the days guys i used to jam call of duty ghost i used to jam search and rescue it was honestly the most funnest game mode I've ever played and I've always been asking, I've always wanted it, you know, to come back in a new Call of Duty, but it never has. And finally, apparently, it's coming back. And not only is Search and Rescue coming in Infinite Warfare, apparently it's going to be on COD 4 Remastered, but don't quote me on that. But if that is the case, it's going to be dope. And you know what else I love about Infinite Warfare, guys? I love the audio. The snipers, like the audio on the snipers is so, so sick. And the snipers themselves sound so dope. I just feel like Infinite Warfare is going to flesh in whole new genre of trick shotters a lot of old gen trick shotters will want to buy a ps4 this christmas or an xbox one and you know just get into it it's going to be awesome fun we've got two new diverse cods coming in you know they're completely diverse to one another one's boots on ground one's hovering you get bored of one you go to the other it's awesome the options are limitless honestly guys i feel like this year is going to bring big big things into this community you fellas apparently now guys we can spawn bots in on call of duty 4 like do you guys understand what that means for this youtube channel not only can we spawn bots in apparently we can hit floaters which means the legacy of my floater series boys and girls it can continue on from black ops 2 towards call of duty 4 it's honestly just going to be awesome i can't wait anyways once again bye